Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, like the title of the video says, finally, Maris Brood. Um, I've been trying to get away around to doing this review for quite a few days. Um, maybe even a couple of weeks. Uh, here she is, in all of her glory. Um, obviously, as you can see, she's from the 30th Anniversary Collection. Um, I'm not sure if that's French for collection, but it can be now. Um, there's the back. Don't usually show these anymore, but for focuses. There's the character profile. You pause that and have a peruse. And there is her little bio at the top there. If it focuses, there we go. Nice imagery on the back, as well as the other figures from the wave, or from. Or the ones at the bottom there are from the wave, so the rest are from the line. Being the Force Unleashed figures were pretty much one wave on their own, so yeah, onto the figure. Let me just focus for you. There we go. Um, she's a pretty cool figure. Um, there's actually two variants, um, according to my Rebel Scum research. One it was pretty much just the skin tone, I believe. Um, this one is more of a sort of a dull, lifeless sort of almost grey sort of skin tone. I know the camera's not probably not picking it up, but the uh, think I'm not sure which release, whether it was the first or second one. Uh, the other one anyway was more of a fleshy skin tone, fleshy pink skin tone. So. a little bit of information there and I think or it also said on Rebel Scum that it was also posed differently um, between the two variations so she is a really cool figure, I really like the lightsabers they're just really cool There's something completely different, something we haven't seen before and she is quite a cool character in the game if you've played it or read the comic books, or read the novel. So here's the uh, lightsaber. I'll just show you one so you get the idea. It's not quite red. Um, it's almost like a more of a pinky color than a red. Which uh, it's, I think it's supposed to be red, but get it to focus. Come on, zoom. There we go. There's a nice little N sculpted into it, I'm not sure why, but... And an 8 there. So that's, I'm not sure what that symbolises, so let's, Yeah, no big deal. Really nicely, well, I guess, painted. I guess you could say it's nicely painted. It's a bit basic, but... It's got the wear and tear. As you can see, it's more of a pinky sort of blade than a red. I suppose it's supposed to be red, but... Um, definitely not supposed to be pink so it's no big deal I'll just take them out of her hands get a nice close up look of her head sculpt which is pretty nice now I'm talking about her head sculpt not the other sculpt there that most of you are probably looking at gentlemen I'm looking at you Um, yeah, she's a pretty well done figure. There's not really a lot I can say about it, to be honest, because what you see in front of you is what you get. Um, she does have this sort of interesting side twisted pose throughout the torso there, as you can see, and throughout the legs. Um, I guess it just showcases her feminism. I don't know if feminism is not the right word, but a feminist. Feminist isn't the word again. There are female-like stance. <laughs> I don't know. Just showing off the curves. That's what I mean, basically. I just can't think of the word. Um, got some nice details through the belt and the buckles. And the pants are well sculpted. As well as the boots. Pretty cool as cool as boots can be. 
Uh, articulation wise, she has a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders and elbows. She has swivels at the forearms. Uh, she has a swivel under the uh, that nicely sculpted area there. She has swivel hips and ball hinged ankles. So no knee articulation. But still better articulation than the new Captain Rex from the Clone Wars, let me just say that. I did pick up that one today, so that will be reviewed next. Um, but I'll go into more depth with that when I do that. So I'll do that in the next couple of days, probably tomorrow. <coughs> so that's Maris Brood from the 30th Anniversary Collection. I hope you've all enjoyed having a look. I know I've been waiting for it for a couple of, for a couple of weeks, I think. However long it's been. Come on, Zoom. I keep putting it off, but here it is. In all her glory. So thanks for watching as always, guys. And I will be back very, very soon with a couple of Clone Wars figures I just picked up today. Um, one new, one repacked, so I'm guessing you probably know who they are. So until then, may the Force be with you forever.